it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and you know this channel is mainly about the work I do with my John Deere 2038R but today I had to call in reinforcements from this Kubota subcompact it's a BX1800 so I think that's an 18 horsepower tractor but we're getting ready to plant Christmas trees and I was wanting to get a subsoiler and a friend told me that he had a middle buster which is similar but doesn't go quite as deep and he had one for his little Kubota and so he's volunteered to come over here and help me out and we're gonna see how that does on prepping my Christmas tree rows so let's get started all right you can see behind me we've staked off the first four rows our Christmas trees are six feet apart in both directions so we've staked them off and painted the lines now we're gonna pull these out till the rows and then put the stakes back in and use them as a straight line for planting but we're kind of doing a comparison and seeing how helpful that middle buster is if it will go deeper than the tiller then it'll help with drainage and be a benefit if it doesn't go deeper than the tiller I'd have to get a subsoiler but anyway we'll get these tilled up and see how it does so he started up here with that and he was just scratching in a couple inches and then he adjusted the top length so it would dig in deeper then his tractor didn't have enough weight to pull it obviously I'm not giving it a hard time about being a Kubota it's just a really small tractor and I think you need a little more weight so when he gets back up here I'm gonna see if he wants me to try that on my tractor and see if we can get any deeper now the tiller will go probably six inches so if this won't go more than six inches, it doesn't really help with what we're doing. because he probably loosened that one up for me. So one thing to keep in mind is that this is not designed for what we're trying to do. It's for planting something like potatoes in a row. And you can see it's working perfectly fine for that. Now my friend's little Kubota tractor is not bogging down when we try to run it. It's not a horsepower problem, it's a weight problem. He's just not getting any traction and uh, his four wheel drive is not working right now. So that's a 1300 pound tractor and the way mine's set up, it's about a 4500 pound tractor. So you can see the difference that makes, but at the same time, 
after I used this, he told me it's only rated up to 30 horsepower tractor, and mine's a 38. So, it's not often I can say my tractor's too big for anything, but I guess that was the case here. I see, I was all over the place with my, I was looking at everything else. I wonder if it can go deep. As I rewatched that pulling, I realized it was almost down to the crossbar already, so that was definitely as deep as it can go. Deeper than that? It could. By lengthening this, shortening it, I think. So we experimented with lengthening and shortening the top length to see if this would dig in deeper. But basically if we made it more aggressive, the dirt would pile up so fast it would lift the middle buster up out of the ground. And the other way it just didn't go as deep. So basically it's designed to make a certain size of row and that's what it does. All right, well, my friend didn't want to be in the video, but I appreciate you, Bart, bringing that middle buster out here. Um, it wasn't what I really need for this project. I need a subsoiler, and it'll work fine with just the tiller. But mainly, I enjoyed getting to try out a different implement on my tractor that I haven't used before and see how well it would work. And I think he did a pretty good job with it. His little Kubota um, just needs more weight. I, looked it up it says it's a 1300 pound tractor and um, he was wanting to use that for gardening and stuff I told him uh, probably if he adds a little bit more weight to it maybe filled the tires and get some wheel weights he might be able to pull it also his four-wheel drive linkage is missing some parts so he wasn't able to engage the front wheels but anyway it was a fun little experiment seeing what we could do with that if I was wanting to plant some potatoes I'd have a nice row here but since I'm doing Christmas trees, I'm going to go back and till all this. I think it makes an, a nice advantage having it tilled. One thing is, I can easily see my trees since they're so small and I don't have to mow them the first couple months. And that helps me make sure I don't mow over my newly planted trees. But anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.